Good day guys. Today I'm going to show you how to create queries and we're going to be creating those queries from the tables that we created in the last video. But before I do that, I'm going to remind you to subscribe, like, share, comment and watch the ads. So queries. Queries are usually done when you want to find out a certain thing or to retrieve some sort of information from your database. Now these usually comes from the uh, table comes come from the table that you have created in your database. Now the first thing you want to do is to ask yourself how do you create a query? Now to create a query you will have to click on the create tab and then you will click on query wizard. Then you will select the option that says simple query wizard and then OK. What you will do then is to select the table that you need to answer your query. Now I'm going to give you a query question which is to create a query showing all the fees of those students whose surname begins with S. Now, which table do we have the names of the students? We have it in student table, if, we, if you recall from the first video, the previous video. We also have them in the EDPM student info table as well. But we're going to use only one table. We're going to be using the student table. And then, what are the available fees that you need from the student table to satisfy the query, which asks you to um, show those students with a surname that begins with S. So we can send over first name, we can send over surname, definitely surname. So how you do that, you click on the ones that you want to send over, the fees that you want to send over. So we want first name, we're going to click on the single arrow to send it over. And then we click on surname and click on the single arrow to send over surname as well. So now you see under the selected field section, the names that will appear when you do your query. Do we need anything else to show the surnames that begin with S? No, we could only use surname if you wanted to, but I want to use both surname and field name. But the criteria would be use surname since we want surname that begins with s the double arrow going across would send over everything but we don't want everything and the single arrow pointing to the left where my mouse pointer is is for sending it back if you made a mistake same thing for the double arrow it sends all of them back if you made a mistake all right so we have the fees that we need so we're going to then click on next when you click on next, you will then select the option that says modify the query design. Why do we choose modify? Because we're going to be putting in our criteria, which is name that begins with S. When you have done that, you then click on finish. So there you have it. You have your table that you need for your query. And when you look below it, you will see the fees that we had selected. So we have first name and surname. Now the criteria section is where you would click in and type what you need in terms of satisfying your query. We need surnames that begin with S. So we're going to go under the criteria for surname. So we're going to be here. We're going to be right here where I'm swinging my cursor. Now when you want to find a surname that begins with S, you would type S an asterisk. The asterisk indicates that it is all the surname that begins with S that you want. All right? Good. When you have done that, you would then select run and the query will run. All right? So there you have it. It shows that you have someone in the class called Dane Salmon. So his surname starts with S. All right. We're going to do another query that requires the two tables which you know requires you to use a relationship. So we're going to do that. All right, so the next query, I'm going to ask you to do a query showing the student's name, date of birth, 
subject and teacher's name now with a query like that you need both tables because the information that you will have to put out is in both tables not in just one single table but comes from both tables so what you need to do as we said before to create a query you have to click on the create tab then query wizard well this is asking you to save your query which we just did so we're going to say yes all right so we're going to click on simple query wizard and then select ok and then we're going to select the table we need so we need the student edpm student info table we need from it the student name so we're going to send over first name and a surname and we need the date of birth which is in the other table so that's why we had to switch table now we clicked on student table just now and select date date of birth dob and then send it over we also need the subject which was in edpm student info so we have to go back to that table so you have to switch it to back switch it back to that table and select the subject and send it over and the teacher's name and send it over click on teacher's name and send it over all right so do we have all that is required for our query student's name date of birth subject teacher's name all right so we have it we're going to click on next and then select the option that says modify the query design remember now when you have to put in a particular criteria we have to select modify the query design then select finish so now you will notice that the two tables that we took the information from appears and again if you look in the middle you will see the relationship between the two remember the relationship that was formed in the previous video was from the primary key to the next primary key the primary key from one table to the next so that's what this arrow between the two tables are for the relationship the link all right so what if we wanted the query to ask you to select the students who were born before 1979 now based on how we had put in the date we have to put in our criteria using the same format the same date format now we are going to go down to criteria so follow my mouse cursor and we're going to stop at date of birth so the criteria would be less than which will which will represent before and we're going to type in the 17th of the 10th 1979 suppose we want them to show all the students who were born before 1979 but because of the date format we had used we have to type it in like you see now what if it said you wanted to find those who were born on that particular date you would just put the date just as you see it you wouldn't need to put anything before it but because we are asking for persons who were born before that particular date we have to put the list and sign before it which shows you that you're going to be listing or doing a query to show those that were born before if it was persons that you wanted to know who were born if you wanted to know who were born after that particular date you would have put the greater than sign before the date but we want to know those who were born before that particular date so we are going to be using the less than sign when you have done that there's nothing as to, to um, put in our criteria because that's what your query asks you for those persons who were born before that date we would run the query to find it what if you also all right so let us run the query and of course 
Apart from that, you will see the student's name, surname, first name, surname, date of birth that were born before that particular date, the subject and the teacher's name. Then you would select run. So when you have done that, it shows that Dane Salmon and Mary McCarthy were born before that particular date. It shows also the subject that they, that they do and the name of the teacher because those were the fees that we had selected when we did our selection for the query. So guys, thank you for watching. This is how you do a query and I hope that you do understand what I did and have learned something. Remember guys, like, share, comment and watch the ads. Thank you again guys.